Hello everyone, welcome to Pimp My Leftovers. Today is Tuesday, which means it's the day after. Yesterday, we reinvigorated Sunday's roast dinner. Today, I've still got some of Sunday's dinner ingredients to use up. Who'd have thought it? How long can this keep going for? Now on Sunday, with my roast lamb, I made a fantastic cauliflower cheese using three cheeses, a dolce latte from Italy, like blue cheese, uh, camembert, and parmesan. Whenever I make cheese sauce, I always make a lot more than I need because it's just an easy win for an extra meal during the week. Unless you're vegan. If that's the case, then you do have the option of vegan milk and vegan cheese. So today, I'm going to make mac and cheese, which is everyone's favourite. Let's meet the ingredients. So, my cheese sauce is here. It's been in a sealed container for the last 48 hours. Absolutely fine in the fridge and then I'm just going to use some extra veg, whatever's knocking around, um, in order to make my mac and cheese. Got one last shallot left in the house, a couple of cloves of garlic there, um, I've got an aubergine, a courgette, these are just knocking around in the bottom of the fridge in the salad box. Whatever veg you've got, doesn't really matter, just chuck it in. Mac and cheese is a great way to use up any ingredients you've got left in your kitchens and your fridge, because you just whack it all together and it always tastes amazing. I've got some cherry tomatoes, I've got a jar of olives, I'm using four different types of pasta. It's really really easy to do, to save, you normally get little bits left in your pasta bags. Just join them all together, stick them in a jar, broken bits of spaghetti, uh, fusilli, whatever you've got. It's really nice to have the different textures of pasta rather than the same shaped piece all the time. 